Hi, this is Mike with TFB TV, and I'm here with six tips to help you determine if a Mosin-Nagant sniper is real or fake. Now, I don't actually have a problem with the fake rifles. A lot of them came on the market uh, ooh, about 15 years ago when I was still living in the UK, and they were going for fake money. That's fine, provided that the buyer and the seller both understand what they've got and what they're selling. And what really grips my goat, and I'm sure it grips yours too, is fake rifles being passed off as real and being sold for real money, because this money can get serious sometimes. So uh, what I've got for you today is six little things you can look at subtly in a shop to see if a rifle that's being passed off as real is in fact fake. So starting at the top, number one, the bayonet. What bayonet? And the Russian sniper rifles were not issued with bayonets. So if anyone in a shop is, or a private sale, is passing off a rifle with a matching numbered bayonet and is proudly saying, Mosin against sniper rifle with matching numbered bayonet, it is 100% definitely a fake. Moving back about an inch and a half for number two, now we have the front sight. Now you may or may not be aware, but Russian infantry rifles were zeroed with the bayonet fixed. Now not only is the bayonet a big weight to hang on the end of the rifle, but it's on the right hand side of the, uh, where the bullet goes as it leaves. So you've got two effects here. You've got a weight hanging on the barrel making it droop a bit, and it's off to one side. So as the bullet goes through, you've got gas blast comes across, you get a little bit of pressure on the right hand side, pushes the bullet left. So an infantry rifle has a front sight that compensates for the fact the barrel's being pulled down and the bullet's being pushed left. So what you'll find with an infantry rifle is that the front sight is shorter than on a sniper rifle and is set to the left, so into the arrow to compensate. So if your rifle has the short front sight off to the left, then it's a fake. It's converted from an infantry rifle. Turning the rifle round for number three. Oh. Right, in the stock here, there's a cutout for the scope mount. If that cutout, the, 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 the surface on the inside of that cutout looks like a fresh cut that's then been painted over with lacquer or varnish or something, uh, so it's got quite a different color from the rest of the wood, then that's been done recently and not back in 1940s or 1950s or anything like that. So if you've got a fresh cutout here, it's a fake. Number four, the bolt handle. Now, uh, all the original sniper rifles were made with bolt handles that were extended and turned down. If there's any evidence of welding or any shenanigans going on here, and in the worst case, the worst one I've seen was one of those aftermarket uh, uh, ones where you, you cut it off and, uh, and screw on a new handle with a, with, a, with a screw. If there's a screw there, then it's a fake. Uh, they should be serial numbered to the rifle as well. Um, I would imagine that it's a fairly rare sniper rifle with a, with a mismatched bolt that is genuine. The Russians didn't seem to care a lot with mismatching bolts with uh, infantry rifles, carbines and so on, but with the sniper rifles they seem to have uh, paid an awful lot of attention. So uh, if there's something about the, about the bolt handle that's a bit dodgy, it's probably a fake. Number five, the trigger pull. Now. Uh, all of the genuine sniper rifles had the triggers worked over uh, the arsenal. So they've got a much, much better pull. Some of them are even double stage pulls, or well, as close as approximating a double stage pull as you can get with the simple trigger mechanism in here. So if it's got the really, really long, really, really spongy, normal let off of an infantry rifle, it's probably a fake or someone's replaced the trigger for whatever reason. Number six, the sight. Now the original PU scopes all have 26 and a millimeter tubes up front here. So anything that is uh, an inch, which in uh, new money is 25.4 millimeters, that is a cheap Chinese aftermarket scope that has probably been put on there recently. Anything with coated optics, so uh, any optics that look purple or green or anything when you shine the light on them, like this one, which genuinely is a cheap Chinese uh, PU copy. I actually bought this one for another project and it, because it has a one inch tube on it. Uh, but the originals are bigger. The mount should match. A lot of the modern Chinese mounts are sort of cheaply cast and, 
um, painted. So you're really looking for something that's, uh, that's machined and um, blued, but there's a lot of variation, particularly in the wartime stuff. Now, this is the one thing that's slightly dodgy about this rifle. It's a Hungarian 1950s uh, PU sniper, but this particular scope is an NPZ Russian commercial scope. But this is clearly not the original scope that came on the rifle. But it would be perfectly logical for um, a screwed up scope on a genuine rifle to be um, to be replaced at some point. And the amount the mount here seems to be original. It's all stamped with Hungarian stamps and stuff. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to TFB TV. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. And many, many thanks go out to our sponsors, Proxybit and Venturi Munitions, who help to make this kind of content possible. Bye.